Well, what a show we have got lined up here at Hotanda. My name is Paula, and if you are just new to Hotanda, welcome. We have got an amazing brand new supplier here, Jillian Gladrack. I think I pronounced it correctly, but Jillian will join us uh, in, in a short while, so I will ask her then. Well, these kids are just fabulous. If you're thinking of a new craft or if you are over an experienced felter and you want something full of color mm -hmm. and actually to be able to end up making this glorious little bag. It's actually a bag that you can use. Imagine having something maybe in at home, maybe do this as a present, maybe for, like I always think of my niece, she's eight years old, but imagine having this in the house as a decoration, but maybe inside it, maybe it's good for, uh, for the phone charger or something practical, but look how gorgeous these flowers are. And this, you can make it. You can really make it in here. You are getting the wool, the merino wool. This top, look at that. Look at the color. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now, I wish you could have touch a vision <laughs> because I heard touch a vision. <laughs> it's a new thing because the softness of this yarn. The, the, well, it's not yarn. It's, it's, it's merino wool tops, but it's, it's just it really feels like handy floss, even softer because it's not as sticky. It's just that softness, that beautiful color. If you all think about the softest, it's like, I don't know, it's like a cloud, if you could feel like a cloud. In here, you are getting, oh, sorry, let's gonna put it aside. Shall we put it down just for the time? Now, you have got, of course, it comes in this packaging with the glorious des depiction of what you are gonna achieve. It's the vintage vignette felt back head. You have got in here, of course, uh, uh, more information and you get instructions as well. The only thing that extra do you need to have is a little bit of water, a little bit of washing out liquid or a little, or a lot of water, I don't know. We'll ask Gillian, actually, we have got Gillian on a Skype. Hello, Gillian. Hello. I'm so excited to be doing this show. How are you, first of all? I'm absolutely fine, thank you. Good. And now, we are very excited to have your company because I was looking into, into you know, your, your website and all your information, and I love that you have got that sentiment of decoration is life. Is absolutely, yeah. Can the decorations. You, you like the decorations. Yes. Is that what you're saying? I, I love the whole ethos of, the, of your company. Of oh, the, thank you, know, you. More tassels, like, and I can see the back uh, be, be behind you as well. I know. Uh, sorry, it's a little bit of a mess. It's my working studio, which is above our shop. So it's where I normally teach, but it's basically where I keep everything. So that's why it looks quite so hectic and messy. Sorry. No. You mentioned that you, well, they, uh, to be honest, I'm a crafter myself, so I can totally relate. I think a messy <laughs> studio is a perfect studio because it means that it's been used yeah. and crafted in. Now, can Absolutely. you tell us a little bit, why did you created, uh, you know, your company, Gillian Drap? Well, uh, I used to be a graphic designer many, many, many years ago, and then I stopped when I had my children, yeah. and I just kind of reinvented myself. I mean, I didn't really, plan to, to be a felter as such, yeah. but it, hap it happened quite organically really. And um, I learned how to felt and I just loved it so much and gradually it turned into my business. And of course, that business now, and now you create kids that for instance can create beautiful bags. What do you want to achieve with these kids, the, the bag kids? Well, I just think it's so nice for people to be able to have a go at doing it themselves. And it's just something I want to share with everyone. It's such a lovely, magical process. Um, and it's actually so easy to do that I thought if we created kits with all the elements in them that anyone would need, then that would be perfect. Yeah. So you say that everything that we uh, practically need to, uh, to do these projects is in the kit, right? Absolutely. The only things that you will need to add is soap and water, which everyone has at home, especially at the moment <laughs> with all of the hand washing going on. So a little bit of uh, washing up liquid or liquid detergent, some people call it, and some warm soapy water, and then literally a bar of soap. Any old soap will do, just a normal Perfect. bar of soap. And that's pretty much it with wet felting. Other than that, you should have everything you need equipment-wise and contents-wise in the kit. 
Can you talk us through it? Because I'm holding out the amazing uh, wool tops here. They are super soft. They are, yes. So those are merino wool tops and they come from the backs of responsibly reared sheep. Oh, Our nice. wool tops actually come from South Africa originally uh -huh. but they're dyed in the UK and then uh, they're packed literally packed in our building here in Dorking in Surrey um, and we have a, a team of ladies who work for me who put all the kits together and they're packed on the premises here so wool tops basically it's your unspun wool so if you know what yarn is and yeah. wool is that you would knit or crochet yeah. with this is the unspun version of it <laughs> so essentially it's used for either belting or it's used for spinning so this is, so and it's from merino which we know it's a what very very high quality as well isn't it Absolutely, it's very fine and short of using something like cashmere, it's one of the finest uh, wools that you, you can get mm -hmm. and the reason we use that is because it felts the fastest. So it's oh. much, much quicker when you're rubbing it all together if you're using a very fine wool like merino instead of something really coarse. Yeah. Um, I mean, you, you can felt any wool yeah. but um, it would take it way longer. longer to felt a coarser wool than merino. And also it's nice to handle a softer, uh, sort of, a softer uh, um, wool. Now then we have got this white netting. What is this for, yeah. Gillian? So this is to hold all of the fibres in position whilst you rub it together with the soapy water. I know I've shown you, I think I've shown you a little bit of this on the VT, but right, when please. you're laying out all the wool tops, the netting goes on top of the wool tops and then you have to put the soapy water on top. So obviously if you didn't have the netting, it might all get in a bit oh. of a mess and you wouldn't be able to keep anything still. So the netting goes on top so that you can rub it all together. Yeah. And of course, and we have got also these, the bamboo mat, which we were yes. wondering, what do you we use it for? Of course, we will see a demo for, by you, but can you explain us now what it is for? Absolutely, absolutely. So this is the last part of the felting process when we harden and shrink the felt. And the bamboo is absolutely brilliant at this because what we do, I've got the half made bag here actually, what we do is we just roll it up into yeah. the bamboo mat and we roll it backwards and forwards and the slats from the bamboo mat ah. push against the felt and, and start to shrink it and ah. harden it. Far. Now also I see here that we have got a needle uh, here which is a felting needle isn't it? It is and that is specifically for this kit the um, Fiesta fan dangle, which is a bracelet okay. kit, because the little balls are made wet felted and then you uh, decorate them using the felting needle. Fabulous. I love that band. I mean, I'll have to put it on for a little bit of the show because, because okay. it's absolutely stunning. Well, every single kit. <laughs> then, of course, we have got is this a template? The plus, yes. you have got a template, yeah. Yes. So when you're making the bag, um, the template is what you work around. So I'm just going to pull this one out of the finished bag. But this is how it starts. So the yeah. wool's laid across the template and then folded around the edges. Wow. And the template determines the shape and the size of the bag that you're making. So the pre-cut template comes in the kit packet. Now, I, that is template, is it reusable? Yes, you can reuse it. Sometimes it gets a little bit crumpled, okay. um, not going to lie, by the yeah. time you've finished it. Because the bag shrinks as you're making it, ah. the template crumples a little bit. But yes, you could. You could maybe iron it gently with a tea towel over the top and flatten it out again and then you could reuse it. That is fabulous because I know that in the, in the show we have got also additional uh, wool um, tops as well. So if somebody wanted Absolutely. to do more they could do it as well. That's fabulous. Indeed. Of course, I'm going to give the, the, everybody the details of this uh, kit. Uh, because uh, now, uh, Gillian, uh, we are going to be seeing your demos uh, in a while. But uh, and we are, and we, I think we are going to chat to you as well in a little short while as well. But for yeah, now, thank, thank you, you Gillian. We are going to give you okay. the... Uh, thank you. <laughs> and, good, uh, and see okay. you later. I love that. See we you can, later. We can talk to our guests uh, via Skype. Um, and of course, oh, that means that we can ask any questions that we have got. If you have got any questions, email us in because we will talk to Gillian in a short while. So if you have got any questions, email us at studio at hochanda.com and that way we can put those questions uh, to her. Now, 
if you wanted to go for the bag, here we have got is a vintage vin vignette, well, a felting bag head. Here you have got, as, as Jillian was saying, everything that you need except water and soap and liquid up, li liquid up, no, washing up liquid. <laughs> now, if you want it, uh, you have got the details there, 543305. And I also love the packaging. I would totally recycle that. I will create something in there that I kind of, you know, I don't know. No, I don't know what yet, but it's absolutely sta stunning. Now, we have got also, uh, not only this bag, we have got another gorgeous bag, but this, look at that, gorgeous. Now, the quality of the merino wool, uh, like Jillian was saying, is not only the softness, the beautiful softness, but also Jillian has selected merino uh, wool because I that is the fastest um, that you can felt with. Sorry, kind of, kind of comes in, and it's just like it feels like touching, um, you know, candy floss. It feels, but but not not sticky, which is even better. Is there softness in there? So it's absolutely stunning. Now, if you want it, do check out your baskets. Twenty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence. Of course, Jillian Drug is the one of the bro the grad. I'm not going to say it because I'm just getting into it, Jillian. Uh, it's one of the brand new companies here at Hochana. We try to incorporate as many brand and new companies and give you inspiration and something different if you want to learn a new craft. Today is the day. Now, of course, we have got oh, Princess and P. And I said, you know what? One princess has just come around and we are very excited to see her. Of course, social distancing going on, but hello, <laughs> Julia. Hey, hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, I have to say, it's so lovely to um, to see her, but also we have to keep the distances, so we are um, doing that. Then we have got here, of course, the Princess and the Pea Wild Felting Kit. Again, you are getting that glorious merino wool top. You are getting the softness, but can you just see here how you are getting those fibers as well that have got that glisten as well. It is mixed in, so when you finish the bag, it's subtly hints of light coming through it is just very subtle but certainly is there and gives it that glorious union jack amazing bag here now of course you are going to get a template the netting and the bamboo mat to create the perfect project as well as more of those fibers the glistening ones and you also getting that that um finding that you can add a little you know, little ball as well. I believe in this one is the one that you have got the needle, so you do a little bit of dry felting. I think that's what it is. It has got a freedom price as well, so if you are a freedom member, you have got a further discount. Not only you don't pay PMP, but you get the reduced price of twenty-one pounds and twenty-four pence. Five eight seven three six five is the item number for this fabulous. I love. Can I show the back? Look at that. It's a crown. I think. I think this would suit our Charlotte. I call her Golden Girl because you know, and the Golden Girl should have a crown, I think, anyway. And then um, apparently she has got quite a few crowns. Oh, oh I see. Uh, right, uh, so we have got here another felting bag. Now, I think this one is my favorite. I uh, really, because look at this beautiful, beautiful detail in here. That one is the Minimus Millicent, Millicent a small bag. Now, can you imagine opening this bag, getting all this glorious, you know, wool, the, all the tools, getting the instructions as well, and we are gonna see a demo by Jillian in a second, and then end up having a project like this that you have created from honest pool and, and you know, just wool not even yarn, you will create that at home. I mean, it's one of these marveling crafts that from literally strands of fibers, suddenly creating a bag that you can use. I mean, these sorts of things are perfect to have around the home and maybe have, you know, like jewelry, maybe have it behind the door and have it, you know, just maybe the keys. You know when you want to hide something but you want it to be uh, reachable. Maybe you have got, oh, also, uh, like, well, my cat, you know, has got any issues, like, you know, and he, and he needs, a, I need a lot of treats and I need to have a lot of bags, you know, for things. So these would be perfect to hide them away. So you have got something incredibly beautiful and pretty that you have made literally from scratch 
and you can just be proud and display it in the home. It looks like a painting, doesn't it? Absolutely stunning. 513639 is your item number. 21 pounds and 99 pence. Now, the, well, I, clearly I have got lots of favorites, favorites in this kit, but in this hour, but look at that. Isn't that the most glorious of bangles? Can you imagine suddenly, and if you are not a bangle person, can you imagine to do something like this and then create a necklace, a statement necklace? Can you imagine, maybe you prefer to have these balls as uh, put them into like, you know those long um, earrings? And the great thing is that, um, I know this because my mother, my mother likes very statement pieces, both in jewelry, um, necklaces and earrings, but she doesn't wear earrings anymore because they drag her ears. She does. This, is perfect for that because you could make the most stunning lightweight uh, earrings, like massive, you know, you could even use them as massive like little dolls, uh, balls in here, or you can have them dangling, just the one single one. Can you imagine that? And of course, that would mean that you would have so many, but if you wanted to make a bracelet, or the, 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 you know, the fandangle, that is just absolutely stunning. Look at that. I mean, I just love it. I just think it's different, something quirky. You know the other idea for this that I have? Uh, because I need to do something about my curtains. There is, uh, you know, this could be for the curtains to wrap the curtains. You know how, you know, something quirky, something a bit different. Because then it's something that adds pattern and color and you have made again from scratch. Because you are getting the merino here. You are getting the merino top here. That you know the vibrancy of these colors is a face for the eyes. It's a face for your hands because you are touching merino wool who is, which is so soft and so delightful. And remember, merino wool means that felting will be done quicker. Here you have got, of course, that needle, that felting needle, so you can achieve those beautiful beads with uh, ease. And then, of course, you have got a little bit of that sparkle, so you can uh, feed it through, so creating those um, kind of gorgeous uh, glistening details in there. And also in here, I believe you also get in the elastic, transparent elastic, so you can create the base of your uh, your beads. Now, this one is very busy. I believe 15 pounds and 49 pence is your price because of course it means that it's very affordable and try a brand new craft today. Now we have got a demo for Jillian and it's part one. Here she is. Hello, I am Gillian Harris and I am the author of several books about felting and woolly crafts, um, one of which is Complete Felt Making, which I know is going to be part of the offer to you today. And then there's some other kits that we're going to be showcasing to you today. Fiesta Fandangle, which is a bracelet kit made from wool, and then Mini Miss Millicent, which is a little baby bag kit. Very cute, one of my favorites. Also Vintage Vignette, really popular kit this one and it's got some lovely spring blossoms on it so pretty and then also the one i'm going to be showing you a little bit more about princess and the pea also one of my favorites because it comes with a little pea key ring that we make as well talk to you more about that in just a second and then um i know that you've also got the opportunity to buy my book complete felt making and some wool which is in a bundle. And then our great big giant felt making kit, which is a really big mat um, and a big piece of net and a rainbow bag of wool. So that gives you the opportunity to make all sorts of exciting things that are a little bit bigger, like scarves and bigger bags and so on. So I'm just gonna run through a few little bits and bobs to do with making Princess and the Pea, um, because I know some of you probably have never made felt before and aren't quite sure what it is or what it involves. So I'm just going to tip out the contents of this kit here. So you get lots of lovely wool tops. If you don't know what wool tops are, they are unspun wool. All right, so I'm just going to put that back there for a second. Unspun wool is uh, almost the wool before you uh, end up with a yarn. So if you knit or crochet and you use yarn, it starts life as wool tops. And all of our wool tops is merino wool tops that have come from the backs of responsibly reared sheep and then dyed into all these wonderful colours. What I want to do though is I want to show you how you pull the wool tops apart when you're making something like a bag because it's really important that you do that right and get off to a good start. The inside of this particular bag is pink, the outside is red. I'll just show you. 
on the diagram there. And then it's got a lovely little pattern on the outside with a heart. So we start off with the pink for the inside of the bag. I'm just going to split that into two. And what I want to show you is how you pull the wool apart because it's so important. If you pull it apart too thickly, it's so much more difficult to felt together. So you have to ha hold your hand quite a long way down and then pull it really gently and release a wispy amount of wool tops that you lay directly onto the template. And I think you can probably see that I'm going to lay them all down with them all facing in the same direction. So for this first inside bit, you are just going to go horizontally like this. And then when you do the outside bit, you're going to um, lay them in the other direction. It's quite interesting. So I'm just going to go super, super fast, lay them all out for this side, because I just want to show you how the piece of wool tops that you get in the kit is enough to cover this inside of the template. And then I'm going to show you what happens next with the soap and the water, just so just quickly, so you get a, a flavour of how this bag is made. So as you can see, I'm going super fast. Let me go a little bit more slowly again and show you again. So pulling them off really, really slowly and just wispy, that's what you're after. Wispy is the key word, okay? Anything that comes off in a big clump is uh, not ideal. Okay, so just finishing off there like that with those. Let's use the last few bits up here and there just to cover it over. And you can see I've got that overlap going all the way around. That's really important, overlapping the template. Then I'm going to just cover it up with the piece of netting. Okay, I'm going to sprinkle it with soapy water. This is just a mixture of washing up liquid, lukewarm water, and then I'm just going to use a dish cloth to push the water the soapy water through the netting, get it all completely wet down like this, okay. And what you're aiming for here is to get it completely wet through so there's no puffy bits with air in them. You don't want a massive swimming pool in front of you, but at the same time it needs to be wet through enough so that you get this nice soapiness that you potentially could write your name in. I'm just going to put a little bit more of a bar of soap over the top. Any old bar of soap will do, it doesn't matter what it is. Just give that a bit more of a rub. And you can see now I could just write my name in the soap and now you're ready to just do a little bit of rubbing. And we will see part two in a second. I mean, I don't know about you, but I was engrossed in that demonstration. She, uh, Jillian explained everything so clearly. And maybe you are like me. You want to have a taster of felting. And maybe you are you want to create your own kits or your own projects. We have got, uh, for, or Jillian has put together a starter kit. This one features, of course, you can see the size of the bamboo um, you know, mat, a rolling mat, much larger. So you can create even larger pieces. You also get your net of course uh, because you need it as Julian was explaining and then you are getting your merino uh, water tops look at that can you imagine it opening that parcel and kind of seeing all these you know a true rainbow of colors now you are getting a hundred grams in total now a hundred grams you think well a hundred grams but a hundred grams of the lightest, softest merino wool. It's a lot of it. Now, of course, you have got instructions as well. So you have got exactly what you use it for and how you to use them. And of course, you are getting that mixed rainbow of wool tops as well in here. Now you also getting, and I cannot say, uh, you know, I love a storage. Now you are getting this felt making, uh, you know, it's a muslin and it is beautifully, uh, you know, you know, there is something about the storage, isn't there? There's something that you can put it back, everything in there, so you know when you next time that you want to do a little bit of felting, everything is in there. Twenty-six pounds and ninety-nine pence makes it a brilliant starter kit. Six zero eight two five four is your item number. Now I know that felting is something that a lot of families do together. So if you are struggling for ideas on what to do, you know, a few of you, this is good because you, you know, everybody can do a bits and pieces for it, and then it the finished project will be a family project, something that everybody has worked a little bit into it. And of course, you may want to, uh, you know, stock up on more merino felting wood um, wool. And here we have got again a rainbow of them. You have got in total, you have got in here uh, beautiful warm yellows, cool greys, and warm uh, chocolate tones in there. You have got the deep reds and hot pinks. You have got regal uh, purples and cool lavenders. You have got in here teal 
turquoises and navies. You have got refreshing apple greens and kind of warming Christmas forest greens. You have got them all in those gorgeous merino wool. Means means that your felting is going to be achieved quicker, and it means that you are going to have enjoyment of touching the softest soft of wool. And I remember is when when you grab it. I mean, it's just beautiful, isn't it? I mean, this is. I mean, it just, just feels so nice. It's t like touching, I think, a unicorn mane. Not that I have to ever touch a, a unicorn mane, but I'm pretty sure it's as soft as this. Or a cloud, not that I have touched any clouds either, but you know what I mean, it's the softness that you, and there is something very whimsical about the whole project, of beautiful colors that you can achieve. 914 and 947 is your item number, 19 pounds and 99 pence. Now, if you want more inspiration and instruction, well, instructions are included in everything, but however, more inspiration from Gillian herself. There it is. There is a book there by uh, I think that's Colin Sam Brown. Um, I think it says uh, well. Anyway, it's a beautiful book. Of course, it is uh, the author is Gillian Harris, which is Gillian herself, and you will have easy techniques. Of course, twenty five projects for nine ninety nine. And the best thing is, I believe she's going to be. It's going to be signed by Gillian herself, so you know that you will have autograph and uh, copy by the author herself. Now. I promise you part two of that VT. So here she is, Gillian. So I'm, I'm sure you're wondering now how on earth this turns into a lovely finished felt bag. OK, I'm just going to talk you through the rest of the process. What you would do is you would remove the netting and then you would turn the whole thing over very carefully and calmly, I might add. And then these bits here get folded over. So all of your overlap that went around the edge is what starts to form your seam. So there's no sewing here. You don't need needle and thread or a sewing machine or anything. That all forms your seam. Then you're going to repeat the process on this side and then you're going to repeat the process again on both sides but using the red wool. And then I'm just going to show you one that I've already prepared with the um, design on the front of it here. Okay. So you can see I've done the pink inside which you can't see, the red on the outside and then I've put the design on the outside including the sparkly Angelina fibres. I don't know if you can see those if I move it backwards and forwards. And then the heart in the middle here. And now what you do is you rub it for some time. You rub it for about half an hour altogether on both sides. And then it really starts to become proper felt and it becomes a proper felt fabric. And once it's really well uh, felted together, then you go and rinse it under the tap and then you roll it in the bamboo mat in case you're wondering what that was for. So the way you roll it backwards and forwards in the bamboo mat is you roll it up really tight. It's still got the template inside, remember, but roll it up really tightly and then roll it backwards and forwards like this 20 times. And what you do is you keep altering the direction in which you're rolling it. So after I'd roll it 20 times that way, then I'd do 20 this way, then this way, and this way and then so on and then I'd do the back as well and then I'd go back and rinse it again this is all in the instructions by the way don't worry you don't have to be taking notes from me right now it's all inside the kit easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions once you've done your two lots of rolling then that's when you cut the top open with a pair of sharp scissors and then you get the idea once you've cut the top open the template is still inside you take the template out and then you're left which is with what was around the template. And then you've got your felt bag. Then all you need to do after that is make your little felt green ball and make your handles and attach that on top. And that's all there is to it. So it's really user friendly. It's something that's great to do with children um, or adults. You don't have to have children, but this particular bag would be nice to make for a child maybe, or you could do it with an older child. Um, and if you want to experiment on your own, if you buy the large felt making kit with the rainbow bag, which is here, or some of the wool tops that we sell separately in the bundle, then there's lots of ideas in my book, Complete Felt Making, and you can have a fabulous time learning how to wet felt and make lots of lovely things. I love, you know, I'm, I'm just... It's just admiring Jill because Jillian, because it's amazing. Uh, and I love the idea of, you know, felting is probably one of those uh, crafts that I don't really think I have done it once or twice in my life. But it's one of those crafts that is very, very uh, rewarding because you start with literally loose fibers. 
those fibers that are merino wool because Jillian has selected the best wool that you can have for the quickest, that they achieve the results the quickest, but also has got that warmth, that softness from the merino wool. Um, you start with that and then you achieve a bag that is actually a bag that you will be proud of. Look how beautiful these three-dimensional flowers they are. Look, I mean, and it is a usable bag. I mean, if you want to use it, uh, you know, for wa uh, walks and for, you know, going, it's just gorgeous. It, I think this afternoon tea, that's really cool, a little lovely idea. Also, I do think there is another thing. If you like to start somebody into a new craft, remember you are going to get everything that you need for to make this bag, including the instructions. And then also it means that you can, what about gifting this for somebody? Start somebody in their crafting journey or you do it yourself and then this is a perfect gift. Because I, I'll tell you one thing, it's super light. So if you're go you will have to post it, right? So then it will be, it won't cost you much in the postage because it doesn't weigh that much. Now, these are many different ways of using this glorious cake. Now, also, I, I'm thinking when I look at it, I'm thinking, well, actually, once a humane cake, you learn the process of a new craft and then you end up with a lovely, lovely product in, uh, that you can gift it as well. Now, there is the idea that you are getting everything including the netting, the bamboo mat, the, the right merino uh, wall top, the instructions, the template for the bag, and remember that you need to use it. I love the packaging. Can we talk about this gloriously? And you can see why Jillian, and um, of course the Jillian is, is a graphic designer because you can see this is cool. Yes, it's cool and funky, but also it, it's just, there is something incredibly inspiring and bright your day, just from the packaging uh, to the actual contents. Imagine to open that bag. This bag is not behaving, so I'm going to put it here. And getting out of that bag, the softest merino wool fibers in here, it's, it really is like, um, you know, like cotton, candy without the stickiness so the best of both worlds it really feels you just want to touch it and you want to play with it and you want to create and achieve beautiful creations you have got also in here everything that you you know you want you have got even the ability to create those handles as well you will be able to do this all this because the instructions are included the only thing that you need to put from yourself apart from you know the the weight of um, you know like it, what you will have to put in or so so what how you i wumble sorry about that you will head the instructions so by step of how to do everything the materials the only thing that you will have to put in is a bed of water and washing up liquid and soap. That's all. Uh, 24 pounds and 99 pence is the perfect price for you to start a brand new craft. Maybe you prefer bright red uh, and pink. And we have got the Princess and the Pea uh, felt kit uh, bag. Now here in this one, you are getting also the finding to put a charm on it. Look at that, isn't that fun? And of course, because it's a template, uh, like it, because it's a, um, design you can choose whether you want it or not or you could if you wanted to create something else maybe you could wanted to replicate something else uh, something different in here you have got also the uh, kind of just put it because it has got misplaced uh, you have got also the ribbon that is included um, to create uh, the charm itself you also get the needle i believe to create the wall uh, the wool the ball in there you are getting of course the netting and you're getting the bamboo uh, mat as well as the glistening fibers to intertwine them with the merino wool to create those glistening and kind of subtle effects in there look i'm, I'm glistening myself i'm not and you can see in here because you can see it coming through the crown in here then you have got the template as well i love this this one is a slightly larger so this one would be perfect as well for i think um you know makeup things like that if you want to have something decorative in the home uh, and you don't have that much storage space you can put that behind the door have here um, those makeup beds and then you can take it to the bathroom or something like this or you can you know something pretty something um, decorative but also a storage where there is none uh, but of course and it in itself Oh, there it is. But also, it is just pretty, and you can just use it as a handbag in itself. Twenty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence. Five eight seven three six five is your item number. But if you are a Freedom member, twenty-one pounds and twenty-four pence. 
pence is actually your price and you don't pay p and p it's it's a great brand new craft that you can start or maybe it's something that you rekindle your love for uh, felting now this is one of my top favorites because every time that i look at it i go like wow it is like a painting, painting with wool, painting with the softest, be most beautiful merino wool um, tops, which is, I, I, when I think about it, I mean, you, c you have got here loose fibers, and from this, you can create this glorious piece. Now, again, you can have it like this, um, you can have it as a handbag, a proper handbag for makeup. Look at the back. Look at that graduation of colors. And remember, you pull, like Jillian was showing in the first VT, you pull that wall. Out. I'm not going to do it, obviously, because I, you know, I'm not the expert here. But you pull it and you get your own graduation. Remember that you are getting in the cage all the, wa the wall that you need. You're needing the netting, the beautiful netting, um, the bamboo mat, the template as well, and the instructions. Re also, remember that if you want, uh, if you, we have got this show on the website. Um, I think it's 60 days that you can rewind it. So you can see Jillian's um, demos back. Also, we do have a, got a book available. So if you want to go for the book with more inspiration and more ideas, more step by step, there is that as well. The details are going to come to the bottom of the screen. But also, if you don't want to go for the book, that's fine. You have got instructions as well in here. So it tells you exactly how to do it and there is a wealth of knowledge on Jillian's website her, uh, there as well 513-639 is your item number 21 pounds and 99 pence and then oh I love that one oh the fandango I love that one I love that because it's just fun and I go, and as soon as I see these beautiful uh, decorative balls I'm thinking so many things that you can do with them you can do necklaces you can use this thing for to make like beautiful pendants you can do earrings like you know those dangling just one single ball in each ear also, I'm thinking, you know that you know movie with robots, well, and and faraway galaxies. There is one of the robots that looks a little bit like this, doesn't it? So you can learn that technique and create. I'm just thinking to put maybe a rod through it, so you can rotate to so do a ball bigger and a small uh, one, and then you have got robots. So see the inspiration, like what Jillian gives you, is a starting point and a journey of texture and play and color and techniques as well that you are going to have so much fun creating and to me crafting and i discovered this or reinforced my idea that crafting is all about enjoying yourself enjoying from the moment that you open the packaging it's a visual feast for the eyes. And then you have got the beautiful merino wool tops that is soft and enjoy that. And finally, the whole process, which so you have got a fabulous product at the end of it. And then you have got something that you can wear, something that you can gift, and something that you can be proud of. 830688 is your item number, 15 pounds and 49 pence. Now, if you are a little bit of a rebel, a little bit somebody who wants to do as they please, somebody who wants to experience um, designing with felt, this is the starter kit, which ha features the amazing, shall I open it so you can see how big, oh, I mean, I mean, it's, it's way taller than me. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is amazing. So it's 180 uh, centimeters by 60 centimeters. So just so you, you know, it's about, I think it's six, no, it's just under six foot, something like five foot ten, something like that. Uh, so it's 10 inches taller than me. Ideal height, anyway. Uh, now here we have got a uh, oh, hundred grams of beautiful rainbow merino wool tops. Now look at this. The colors are uh, stunning, and remember that merino, you know, merino wool that has been dyed in the UK. So it means that the colors have got that vi vibrancy that Gillian loves. They have got that softness from the natural fibers, and remember, as um, Gillian was saying, they have been um, how you call it a uh, source a uh, whole. Oh how you say, ethically sourced, uh, I think, as well. Uh, now you can see here, look at the responsibly sourced. And look at the beautiful sky. 
And then of course you have got the netting as well. So with this, you can uh, start your wet um, felting um, kit like or, or process or journey. And of course I do like storage. I love packaging that is useful. And I love the way that you can then, once that you have used it, put it all back into it. And now then next time you are gonna open it, you know exactly where it is. You are getting instructions as well. It is makes a lot of sense to go for this one. Uh, do check out your basket. Uh, six eight eight sorry six zero eight two five four oh numbers uh now we are very busy for the next item as well because is the wool one bundle now if you have gone for one of the previous kits and you want a little bit more like you're thinking well yes i want to do that but then i want to do this and oh maybe i can practice that these will be perfect here you are getting a proper rainbow of different hues you're getting the golden yellows and bright oranges uh, hot pinks and deep reds purples look at those gorgeous beautiful rich purples but you also getting of course those gorgeous lavenders what about a little bit of peri periwinkles navy blues deep blues oh that one is more of a teal color and you're getting 25 uh, grams in it so that means you're 125 grams in total you have got the deep green for the screen as well as the mossy green, the beautiful vibrant uh, lime or apple green in there. 914947 is your item number. 19 pounds and 99 pence is the price. But if you want to get some more inspiration, there is the book. Now, we are very busy for the book. Now, it is 9.99 and it is written by Gillian herself. So it's packed full with 25 pro great projects, step by step as well, of how to make them. And then, of course, for just 9.99, you can have that knowledge. And you know what? It is a signed copy, so it will be signed by Gillian herself. And I love that. It means something special, doesn't it? Nine two um, two nine five five five. Uh, six is your item number and we have got Jillian back I believe hi Jillian there she is hiya I'm back hello I'm back. <laughs> back. I'm glad to see you we are <laughs> absolutely fascinated and you know what is everything of the kid is just you want to play with it you want to experience the joy of felting well that's the idea I mean it's such a lovely, lovely thing to do. It's so magical. It is. Um, and actually, you know, a lot of it you can, if you just do the basics with the soap and water, you can do it with children as well, which is great. And I love that because I think now, um, I'm thinking, I always mention my niece, but she's eight years old and she loves crafting, but she likes to do it yeah. also with her mom or, or whenever it's possible with, with her grandma. And it's just such a, and this, I think, is perfect because then the end product, the end result, is something that she can wear as well. Yeah, it's a really great thing to do with children, but also for kids, like you're saying. And actually, that kit, that, uh, the princess and the pea, is such a lovely one for a little girl. I mean, it's based around a little sort of fairy tale, obviously, and it's got the pea key ring on it. <gasps> Um, and then course. princessiness on the front. So that's perfect if you wanted to make that for your daughter or your granddaughter, maybe. Yeah, exactly. No, I'm, I'm being very slow. I, I was very slow. I didn't, I, I was thinking, oh, that's really lovely. And then now I, of course, the pea, of course. <laughs> and the princess, now, <laughs> I, you know, it's, oh, sorry, I'm just being slow here today. But I love <laughs> also the fibers that you have got in here that, that add that glistening effect. Yeah, so those are called Angelina fiber uh -huh. oh and yeah. they you know are them, yeah. basically just like glitter strands and you trap them into the wool and so when the layers of the wool felt together you just get this like little sparkly glimmer yeah. and as it moves in the light you can see the glitter sort yeah. of just sparkling in the light which I absolutely love. Yeah. I mean, you know, usually when I'm mention glitter fibers uh, when I'm running my courses there's always a gasp of delight <laughs> I mean who doesn't love a bit of sparkly glitter right yeah of course it is it is a must now th is there any techniques Jillian, that you want to share with us now well I mean I was just going to go on from the the last part of my video really yes, which brilliant. didn't show you the very end of, of the uh, making of the bag just so that everyone understands how it works the bag is made around the template and at, at the very yeah. end once you've shrunk the bag quite a bit yeah. you cut along the top ah. and you take the template out yeah. and then you're left 
with what was around the template. And that's how you make your bag. So, of course, your bag is completely seamless. There's no sewing. Of course. Um, it's actually reversible. You could turn it inside out if you wanted to. Right. Um, and it's as simple as that. So that's how all of the bags are made. If you wanted to do something even more straightforward, you could use our large felt making kit. Yeah with the bag of rainbow wool tops or the separate yeah. bundle of wool yeah. tops. And you could just make a lovely felt picture, just a completely flat yeah. picture. Yeah. So it's not as complicated as using the template. And you could just work straight onto the bamboo mat and maybe even just make a beautiful rainbow. I know yeah. those are very popular at the moment. Uh, exactly. Uh, there was a moment when I was talking about the wool that I thought, oh, this is a rainbow for hanging. That would be absolutely amazing. But also, I would imagine that you can create something like the, the bag with the landscape do that as a hanging, as a flat element as well. Yeah, that's a really good idea, actually. Um, especially if you buy the bundle of all the wool, yeah. you could definitely make your own picture akin to the uh, design on the front of the Miss, mini Miss Millicent bag. Yeah. Um, and you could make a picture as well. Yeah. So the possibilities are endless. That's the trouble, actually. Once you've got the basic equipment and you've got your mat and you've got your net, and if you've got some wool tops, then there are so many possibilities. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of ideas and projects in my book yes. as well. Which, um, but which, once, you've, once you've got some ideas from my book or from doing some of the kits, then you, you can really uh, just keep, keep making because, the, you know, there's so many things you can make. I just had an idea L inspired by your bunting in the back and your rainbows. I'm thinking to create a rainbow, a bunting rainbow of, with your beautiful uh, merino wool. Would that work? Actually, that's a lovely idea. That's a really nice idea. You could use the large basic felt making yeah, kit, exactly. which is this one, yeah. uh, because that comes with the rainbow bag in it. Yeah. And then if you wanted to make more, you can make you could use the 25 gram bags to do that as well. Oh, I, th I think it would look stunning. And you can imagine, uh, the thing is magical that from fibers, you create a finished project and just just water and, and soap is the only thing that you need to add extra, which is amazing. But we want to see a little bit. Can we have a look and look at the book? Because we spotted it. My eagle-eyed uh, producer uh, spotted the book. So can we have a, uh, what can we expect in the book? So the book goes through all the different sorts of felting. Yes. So in the book, you've got uh, basic flat wet felting. So, for example, if you wanted to make some greetings cards, maybe wow. you might have yeah. the cardboard card and yeah. then you could make a sheet of felt in lots of designs and colors and you could cut it up and yeah. make some cards. That's one of the projects in here. Um, there's some wall hangings in here. There's a lovely, lovely table runner in here. I don't know if you can <gasps> see that gorgeous. with candies yeah, on it. Yeah, we can see that. Yeah, it's um, amazing. There's all sorts of things like that. Um, then we've got some needle felted projects at the Perfect. end. Perfect. We've got um, step by step for every single one. So it goes through all of the how to's. We've got a knitted felting section in yeah. here. We've got uh, some advanced projects. So it shows you how to make a felt wow. hat, for example, and a felt tea cozy, and there's some cute little baby Look booties. There's the handbag on the front, which is obviously um, rather popular. And then some more felt jewelry. So a little bit like the Fiesta Fandango, yes. uh, sorry, the Fandango bracelet. Yeah. Yes, it is called that. Yeah, I can't yeah. even remember the Fandango. name myself. Yeah. Uh, Fiesta Fandango, <laughs> there's a necklace in there. And can you see, it, it gives you step by step so that you can uh -huh. see exactly how yeah. to do everything um, in pictures and oh. then in words as well. So, so hopefully you won't be confused by any of it then at the front just as i said before it's got some flat well felted projects there's a lovely wow. project to make a little pair of sheep there's a table runner and then the cards that i was yeah. talking about some card yeah. making as well I, uh, so hopefully you know that what? gives you I a just, few ideas it's amazing it's amazing inspiration and at home please do check out the book 9.99 for all those inspiration as well as the know how to without the step-by-step -step instruction now and Gillian, I, how can you, we find you on social media? Okay, so I love social media. So luckily, Great. I'm right there for you all. My favorite is Instagram. We're yeah. Gillian Gladrag on uh, Instagram. By the way, sorry, my name is so difficult to say. The name <laughs> I'm of our sorry company. about such, that. Such Gillian a mouthful, Gladrag. I know. 
Um, just also to say, Gladrag is not my surname. It's just <laughs> it was a nickname given to me. So Gillian Gladrag. It's at Gillian Gladrag on Instagram. At Gillian Gladrag on Facebook. I have to admit, I don't really tweet very much. So okay. my main ones are Instagram and Facebook, and then we're also on YouTube as well. And there are some free demos. Sorry, Fabulous. some free um, videos on uh, YouTube as well if you wanted to uh, have a look. Um, on, you know, if you've got the book, obviously you've got the step by steps which is perfect, but there are some videos on wow. there as well. That is fabulous. So uh, if, if people get your book or your kids and then they have got any questions, can they contact you through, through say, Instagram or something like that? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I'm there all the time at the moment because <laughs> obviously we're on lockdown and our actual shop is shut. So everyone's oh, contact, contact, contacting me on social media. So, yeah, I normally respond Probably the fastest on Instagram, if I'm honest. Yeah, Thank you definitely. so much, Gillian. Um, I hope, you know, we will have loved to speak to you. We, will have, we love your products. And thank you so much for taking the time to talk and to us uh, twice at uh, this hour. And uh, stay safe as well. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Thank Bye. you. Uh, take care. Bye. Bye. Now, you know, I just love her products and Gillian herself. I'm so inspired by her use of color and texture, but most importantly, you know, it's a craft, uh, you know, that you can achieve with one of these kits. You only need water and, um, you know, as a, and water and washing up liquid and a little, bit, uh, a little bit of soap as well. Now, what you get is Merino wool. Merino wool tops, which is actually taking the lead, this one. And I'm not surprised. I, I'm in love with this one. And you know what? I'm thinking this one I probably would make two pieces instead of making a handbag i may do like when jillian was saying maybe make two paint like two hangings what about that what about creating these as it is for your home for your you maybe a phone uh, a phone charger maybe for your remote control and then you can hang it by the maybe a chair or, or the sofa what about creating these as a present for somebody i'm thinking here you are getting the beautiful rainbow of colors vibrant colors if you know somebody likes red put more of the red if you like that somebody prefers doesn't like red don't put any red it's up to you you create that beautiful field of flowers is your creation and remember you have got in this kit you have got the netting you have got the bamboo mat you have got a template you have got the instructions all nicely and neatly packaged in here i'm in love with this one can you imagine that from loose fibers soft as a cotton uh, cotton candy but without the stickiness with this you are going to achieve something like that like Jillian was saying that is it's not soon it's everything done by well and then uh, wet felting now remember that if you want more information Jillian has said that you know you have got demonstrations online as well you can rewind this show um, for 60 days as well on hochanda.com 21 pounds and 99 pence is the price 513639 is the uh, item number and this one, oh, I love this one. <laughs> well, I love them all, to be honest. I'm really like a kid in a candy shop. I mean, it's really, that's the feel. It's color, it's shape, it's texture. It's the fact that from fibers, from loose fibers, you're going to achieve something like this. Now, this can be a fandangle. It can be a dangle a bracelet. It's the fiesta fandangle. But you can make whatever you want. You can create little characters if you wanted to. You can make it decorative maybe for the home. You can create maybe a bold necklace. And with the, with the amazing thing that you have created the beads, but also, more importantly, is lightweight. So it doesn't hurt your neck or your ears, which I think that's very important. Now you are getting, of course, the felting needle. You are getting that glistening, the Angelina fibers, as Jillian was explaining. So you feed it through, and then you have got glistening details coming through. Very gentle, very elegant, classy, shiny sparkleness. Uh, your item number is 830688 is your item number, 15 pounds and 49 pence for this. And then very quickly, I want to remind you that if you are like me, uh, excited by these and you want to get your hands onto getting some uh, felting and you don't necessarily want to do a bag or you want some, maybe some hanging or you just want to have fun playing with the kids, 
This is phenomenal. You are getting 100 grams of that merino amazing soft wool tops. You are getting the netting, the big size netting, but you are also getting this mammoth of a bamboo mat. Now, the uh, good thing about this, ba this mat is that, yes, it is big, so bigger projects are dying. So you can do a massive hanging if you wanted to. But also, it means that how it is designed, you don't need to open it all the way, so you can just do it a little bit, so you don't necessarily need, uh, you know, a, a table that is six foot tall no, no, or long. It's not like that. It's just the fact that you can, if you wanted to create a massive runner, you could. And of course, the storage bag as well, so you can keep all the elements nice and safe. Six zero eight two five four is your item number. Twenty six pounds and ninety nine pence is your price. Now, if you wanted more wool, we do have got also that for you. So do check out your baskets. Check out the for also the book. The book is amazing. Remember that Jillian is online, so available in social media. So do reach out if you want to have got any questions about it. Now, I'll see you after the break. <laughs> 